Hey, Aga's arm on mat number three. This under 66 kilogram bracket is shaping up to be insane. Bananas. And let's kick things off here. Ethan Krellston without the rash guard. Josh just narrows in all black. Ethan in on a quick takedown attempt here, but Cisneros, happy to oblige. He loves the wrestle. Absolutely, and he's a very good wrestler at that. I think he has a great style for ADCC. Ethan Krellinson training out a B team. Oh, oh immediately jumping a flying triangle is Josh Cisneros. You see Cachino calling for him to lock his hands together on the back of Ethan Krellinson. I love the creativity from Cisneros there. Wrestling, jumping into triangles, pulling guard. Really mixing it up. Oh, big single leg right here from Ethan Krenlinston. Josh Snare is finding a good time to pull close guard. The one thing about Josh as well is always so calm. He never looks too stressed out, never like he's in a bad position. Even in the strenuous situation, he always looks like he's just perfectly aware of what's going on in the match. For those that are not watching Matt 3, that would be AJ Agas on protesting the decision, and the crowd is uh, reacting to that. But meanwhile, on Matt 1, we have a scrap on our hands here with Josh Cisneros. Playing guard here, kind of a shallow, almost daily heave hook with the underhook. Certainly, uh, don't get confused, that fan booing is not for this match. Krellinson now putting a little pressure on top. But Cisneros so good at just inverting, trying to get underneath the hips. Josh Cisneros going to a classic X guard here. Oh, and Ethan trying to spin underneath, looking for a back attack off of that. And one thing Cisneros does so well, and we had a brief glimpse at it, is what he calls the black hole, right? Where mm. he gets an underhook from a, a knee cut style position and swings all the way around and gets to the back. Yeah, It's a thing of beauty, and he's done it about a million times. Something that Mateus Gabriel does very well. Exactly, yes, him too. Big knee cut attempt from Josh. Cisneros. Six minutes, 38 seconds left in the match. Now Kraliston looking like he's, uh, it almost looks like he's trying to expose the back of Cisneros in that situation. One thing I love to note about Cisneros is he is somebody who improves so much. He bounces back very well. He, as we mentioned before, fell to Keith Kikorian at the West Coast Trials, but then came back in a recent fight to win and just absolutely looked fantastic. Like, it wasn't even the same matchup. It was a very dominant win for Cisneros in that one, yeah. So far, though, this has been a very interesting exchange of techniques, a lot of different positions and scrambles. You can really see how refined it the game is for these two athletes. They put in a lot of hours and drilled a lot, and they're just looking for those small openings.
And you know, Ethan is a, a representative of the B team that showcases a very well-rounded game. You know, and they're all starting to become so well-rounded down there. I think a lot of people probably early on might have thought, oh, these guys just leg lock. But they are well-rounded in both their pa in their passing and their guard play, in their leg locks, of course, in their wrestling now. Definitely uh, the work down there has been. Oh, there's a the black hole. Effective. Looking for it at least. But Cisneros, I mean, excuse me, uh, Krellinson looking to counter. Oh, and Cisneros now looking to take the back. And we are also in the points period here, guys. So this exchange is critical. So Cisneros doing everything he can to isolate this pass here. It's a very tough spot to be in for Ethan Krenliston. Nice wrestle up though from Ethan. Transitioning to a little back attack here. Cisneros though, shoulders pretty far on the mat already. Let's see where we end up here at the end of this thing. My goodness, this has been a two minute scramble it feels like. Oh, look at the orientation by Josh Cisneros. He's on his back, immediately flipped like a cat up to his feet. Definitely some very impressive movement showcased here in this match. Trying to go around to the outside. And Cisneros is so confident. You know, he just steps right into danger, steps over Krellenston, shows his back a little bit, but still always chasing the pass. Oh, big shot on the outside by Josh Cisneros. But great work from Ethan to ex extract his leg there. But Cisneros had such amazing timing on that. That was beautiful. Oh, big shot attempt from Krellison. And you know what? Josh Asnero is really fluidly defending these takedowns. There's not a lot of strain in them. It's more of like he's just stepping right out of the way, or he's putting his hips back just far enough to where Ethan can't get the full extension on them. Side single again for Josh Cisneros. Oh, and he dips underneath to potentially get on top. Oh, but can Ethan, or, yeah, Ethan roll through? He nearly has. He does put Ethan almost on his back, but Ethan looks like he could potentially take the back here. He retains top position. Wow, that's great work from Ethan to kind of reverse the fortune of that scenario here. He is in a very dominant position here. Still no points on the board yet. But you can bet he's going to move slowly here. He wants to make the most of this. Absolutely. With only one minute, 15 seconds left. Josh Asnero is still on his side. Is where he needs to remain if he doesn't want to give up points. But now Kredlison doing everything he can to put that uh, second hook in. He's got a body triangle, trying to take the back. But look at Cisneros, up to his feet immediately. Kredlison still does not have that back hook in. 45 seconds left. The question is, can Ethan swing that leg around, orient his hips in a way where he can actually take the back officially here. Cisneros fighting that hook with everything he's got. He's desperate to get out of the scenario and make it into the overtime here. 
Oh, and that's a good move by Kernliston to be able to extract that arm. He needs to have at least 75% of Josh Cisneros back. And right now, he's basically on the side of Cisneros. So Josh, really everything, the whole fight right now. Oh, he's slipping off. He's is tough. to not let Ethan take the back. What a move by Cisneros to keep him in this match. It's going to be 0-0 for the next seven seconds, and we're going to go into overtime. That was crazy close. That was, yeah, that was something. Escaping the clutches of defeat is Josh Cisneros, and he keeps himself alive for just a little longer. And like I said, no expression change on his face. That entire time, knew what he had to do. Ethan really pushing forward hard now, putting on that pressure. In the background, you'll see a little uh, AJ Agha's arm commotion, a little more. Oh, and Josh Cisneros spinning around to the backside and jumping up for a flying triangle. Oh, and it's we're on. Missing. We're missing because this is Matt. There we go. Now we're on Matt one. Now that's on. All the armor's out. Oh, here we go. Will this be it? It looks like Ethan is slipping out the backside of this triangle. Only his jaw is free underneath, and he gets back up. And the dog fight continues. Oof. for the shuck to the outside. This is the last match of the first round of the 66 kilogram division. Only three minutes left before we move on to the ladies. Man, this has been such an even match, Chase. I mean, look at the strain that Josh Cisneros is trying to bring that. Oh, oh he, he steps right over the mount. Big transition from Josh Cisneros. And he is below the shoulder line with that left leg. So he will get four points there. It is now four to zero, and Josh Cisneros in a very comfortable spot. That was a great move. And they're calling it four points because it was a sweep into the mount. Mount itself is only a three-point scoring move. So, interesting stuff They do there. not combine points in ADCC. And here we see Cisneros. Looking to lock up, trying to get this head and arm choke going here, it looks like. This is a great submission to go for, Chase. It takes, a, it takes a little bit to get from this position. You have to shimmy your head underneath the armpit and really put yourself in the right spot. And he's got plenty of time to work that. One minute and 30 seconds. Oh, and now looking for the shoulder lock. Oh, that is a deep submission. Krillison doing what he can to oh, keep himself it's all safe. all the way out. And the arm is all the way extended. Josh Cisneros moving on to the next round of the under 66 kilogram. What a way to finish the match. And kudos to Ethan Krillison. What a performance. Really great, exciting battle. Yeah, that was a classic bout right there. Cisneros. Too good, so 